Okay, this sermon's entitled, Jesus Died for Perla. Uh, Jesus died for everyone, actually, but um, I'm just personalizing this sermon. All right, let me open with prayer, then with a few verses. I dear God, thank you for allowing me to preach this. I just pray that you'll allow me to be clear and to give the gospel out uh, correctly and biblically. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Turn to Psalm 34. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all fears. They looked, at, they looked unto him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth... <coughs> round about them that fear him and deliver it them. The Bible makes it very clear that the Word of God is the Word of God. It's infallible. It's, it has no errors. The Word of God is true. The Bible makes it clear about that. It makes it clear of this in Galatians chapter 1. Let's go ahead and turn to Galatians chapter 1 verse 11. <clears throat> okay. Galatians chapter 1 <clears throat> Verse 11 reads, But I certify you, brethren, now this is the Apostle Paul talking to other believers, other Christians, I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I, received, for I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. The gospel is the good news. The gospel is the, you know, the message that the, that the Bible wants to convey to the world that Jesus Christ died for everyone's sins. If you believe on Jesus Christ, you believe that he died for your sins, you go to heaven forever. All your sins are covered, past, present, and future. Jesus Christ died for Perla. Jesus Christ died for everyone. Jesus Christ died for the, the most wicked sinner alive. And all they have to do is believe on him, believe in Jesus Christ, and they'll be saved. Turn to 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 16. This, this reiterates, kind of co corroborates the, my point here. So if you turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, we're going to look at verse 16. Verse 16 reads, How be it, for this cause I obtained mercy, that in me first Jesus Christ might shew forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. What, what happens when you believe on Jesus Christ? You put your trust in him, make him your personal savior by simple faith. You get life everlasting. You get to go to heaven forever. If Perla would believe in Jesus Christ for eternal life, she'll go to heaven forever. And that's my hope that happens, and I hope this sermon will get the message across. Now let me go over a few more verses here that prove that salvation is just simply um, by believing in Jesus Christ. And now turn to 1 John chapter 5. We're going to read about. We're going to read the first 13 verses. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ, Christ means the Savior, Messiah. He's the only way to heaven. He, he makes that point very clear in the book of John. John chapter 14 verse 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I mean, you can come to the Father. You can get saved. You can go to heaven. But you have to believe in Jesus Christ for eternal life. John 6, 47, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. The most popular verse in the entire Bible, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Whosoever means whosoever. Anyone who wants to be, be saved can be saved eternally. Once saved, always saved. Once you're saved, you're eternally secure. You're going to heaven. It's a guarantee. Now, these verses make that clear. Okay? By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this, is, for this the love of God... For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. Now, commandments here just means words. So we, keep, we keep the words of God. We keep reading the Bible. We keep you know, in the word. It has nothing to do with your salvation. It's just talking about God wants us to keep his word. For, who, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Now, how do we get the victory? We get the, we, we get the victory by faith in Jesus Christ. Faith alone in Christ alone. It's that simple. Okay? Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, For by grace are ye saved, and that not of yourselves. It, not, that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The Bible makes it very clear the only thing a person has to do to be saved is believe in Jesus Christ and they'll have eternal life. And Jesus Christ died for Perla. Jesus Christ died for myself. Jesus, this is Jack Smack, by the way. Jesus Christ died for everyone. And then, and then when, you, when I look at people, I go out soul winning, I see people everywhere, I say, they're, they're, these people are either going to heaven or they're going to hell. If they don't believe in Jesus Christ, they spend their entire life rejecting God, rejecting Jesus Christ, rejecting their only way to salvation, they go to hell forever and they burn. And that's just what the Bible teaches. Now look at verse 6. This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. 
For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. If we receive the witness of man, the witness of God is greater, for this is the witness of God, which, we, which he hath testified of his Son. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he, he, because he believeth not the record that God gave his Son. This is the record that God hath given to us, eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that's Jesus Christ, by the way, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. See, if you believe in Jesus Christ, the Bible says you can know you're going to heaven. You can know you have eternal life. And you get, it, you get, you get eternal life in this lifetime. You get it now. Okay? That ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. Anyone who wants to get saved and believes in Jesus Christ for eternal life will go to heaven. And um, I just thank God that the Bible teaches that. We can know we're going to heaven in this lifetime. If you're believing in anything else, if you're believing in any, any other type of false religion like atheism, Judaism, Islam, any, all these other false religions out there, they, they don't offer any hope. They don't offer you know, any confidence that we can know we're going to heaven. The Bible says in Titus 3.5, uh, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. If you keep on reading, it's going to say that we're saved by God's grace. Grace is a free gift. Grace is the unmerited favor of God. God loves us. God, Jesus Christ died for us. The Bible says in, in Romans chapter 5 verse 8, but God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. All Perla has to do to get saved is to believe on Jesus Christ, that he died, Jesus Christ died for her sins, and she'll go to heaven forever, and I just hope that happens. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, I thank you for allowing me to preach this sermon and put this sermon on, on YouTube. I just pray that uh, people will listen to it and get saved and take it seriously, because it's no joke. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.